Julie, what's going on? Oh my. <laughs> thank you so much for letting me interview you. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. So, Julie, can you tell us a little bit, like how long have you been homeschooling? Uh, about 22 years. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, is, it, it really sneaks up on you. <laughs> so, and um, how long have you been with classical conversations? Um, it has been, this is the sixth year, sixth year with classical conversations. Yes. So, that's great. Yeah. What advice would you give to new homeschooling moms? Um, I, I would first say welcome and um, just breathe <laughs> And um, it is a, an adventure. Um, when we first started homeschooling, I know that um, my husband was um, very, a little bit apprehensive. And the question that he asked me was, um, do, you, do you realize that if we do this, we're going to be 100% responsible for our children's education? And um, it was just a real kind of, I didn't even think when I responded, I, I said, aren't we anyway? And um, so I think from then and after that first year, um, we, we really did it because we felt like um, we didn't really have uh, many choices. We were in a small town, rural town in Texas. And um, what we found is it gave us so much more time together as a family. And um, we were just going to homeschool a year, kindergarten, um, because there was no um, half-time kindergarten in a small rural town we moved to and so we um, gave it a year and my husband was so at the end of the year he was the one you know really concerned at the first year at the end he, I was kind of sitting down to evaluate and get you know what are we going to do next year and he said oh I, I just thought we would keep homeschooling it's been so good because our family had so much time to spend together um, the, in, just to see our kids um, relate to one another. And um, it's, you know, it takes you, it took me a, a few years to get out of the mindset of school. It's not school at home. And also the main thing um, is um, just really prayer. I mean, just stay on your knees and, um, and, and working together. I mean, we have had so many seasons that it wasn't about academics. Um, the, the thing that the children learn most, we had my grandmother live with us for two years. Um, my father's actually living with us now. Um, he has Alzheimer's. And our kids learn so much just from being um, in, a, in a multi generational family. And um, we have so much more time to. Um, just um, live out um, what our, you know, our family ministry to our, our loved ones or um, whether it be in our community. And so it's less about, um, I mean, it is, there is the academics and we do, and it takes much less time than um, in the public school. It's not, um, I mean, that was one of the things that very much surprised me. Um, we did a lot of reading early on. Um, we still do, but the kids mostly separately now. Um, but uh, we really enjoyed reading together. And that was one of the things that um, my husband uh, from early on just realized just being together as a family was the thing that uh, we, we liked best about homeschooling. So. That was great. I, and I totally agree. The, the, yeah, the amount of family time just is is such a strengthening factor in in developing strong families in my opinion just that so it's not just quality time but it's quantity time yes um, as well okay so, so go ahead julie it's the, it's the teachable moments you know it's it, and it's the you know so many of the lessons of life are caught instead of taught and um so there's um just so many things I, I see my now adult children. I have four that have graduated high school. And, um, you know, I look back on um, the lessons they learned were um, just, just uh, a lot of consistent consistency and little by little, day by day. Um, I was, I'm a firstborn and I started out very 
strict and, you know, we have to do this many hours and, um, and, and you, you just learn that um, the freedom that homeschooling gives you, I mean, we still have a schedule, but if we need to go across town because there's a widow that needs um, something that we can help with, um, we can do the things that we're going to do on our schedule later. And um, I think that that is the, uh, it's interesting in this season um, with the coronavirus and people staying home, we're getting a little bit of a taste of, I mean, homeschoolers are getting a little bit of a taste of the requirement to be in a certain place. And, um, and, and then um, uh, those that are in public school are getting a little bit of a taste of the freedom that we have with our schedule. So I think that um, it's, um, it's, it's been a kind of a blessing. Um, I think my friends that do public school have said it's a blessing to have the freedom of schedule. And then, um, and, and it's been a, a blessing to be able to have uh, the tools to communicate too with them, like through Zoom and that kind of thing. So even though you're limited, um, we're, we're all slowing down a little bit. And um, so I would, for this, going back to your first question too, let me just encourage those that are beginning, starting out homeschooling, um, don't treat it, um, I mean, try to get out of the mindset. It's not like school at home. Um, you know, read a lot, love on the kids, realize they're learning a lot from this experience to begin with, and, um, and just don't put too much pressure on yourself. <laughs> totally. Appreciate that. Great, great insights there, Julie. Okay, now how about this, Julie? You shared with me, you know, prior to the interview starting that you, you know, have transitioned like so many of us to doing a lot of virtual or web school, web, you know, web classes and, yeah. and that kind of thing. Can yeah. you share some of your experiences with it? How's it going? What have you, some observations that you have noticed? How are the kids responding? Um, how are you enjoying the, this whole, the whole virtual process? Yes, the young people I'm working with have really been excited to get, you know, to see each other and to be able to see each other. And, um, and it's, been, um, it's been neat. Uh, I, one of the things in CC as a director, um, we talk about being a lead learner. Well, we're all thrown in, into this time. So we're all having to adjust. And um, it's been neat that the young people have really stepped up. And I'm learning right along with them. And, um, and they get excited to, to use some of the things that I think they, they spend more time um, on the technology than we do. And um, so, you know, uh, for instance, there's two young men that in one of my classes that uh, we were doing labeling a map of Africa and in our cartography and um, they were on iPhones and doing Zoom on iPhones, which I, I actually haven't tried to do that yet. Um, but they were doing that and one of them said, well, oh, I'll put the Black Hawk Master map up there in the, in the shared space so we can label it. So one of them that was on the iPhone did that and then the other one put um, a different kind of outline of Africa in his background. And he was using it like, um, you know, like a weatherman green space to point out what we were talking about. And um, so they collaborated and got this map of Africa label. And I just thought, wow, I mean, um, it, it's not just learning the countries and capitals of Africa, they're learning to, you know, problem solve and collaborate and work together um, with the tools. And I think it's just um, just a great um, a way to um, overcome. Uh, and, and, and I do think it's a ministry to these kids to have them come together. I, I've seen a lot of discouragement um, with the directors and maybe a hesitance to do it. And um, I think you just have to realize that um, and even some I've, I've seen that they're just going to meet with the parents or something on one-on-one -on -one once a week over the phone or something like that. Um, just, just really, I mean, I just really see the young people. We've had almost perfect attendance every time I've met and I've been uh, doing my, I've been uh, 
kind of subdirecting for my um, son's uh, challenge one class and then uh, also directing my challenge a class. Uh, my son's director had a death in the family. So, um, but all these kids, almost uh, every single time we've gotten together, it's almost been perfect attendance. And uh, I just think that they're really wanting the time. You know, they're social. They're, they, they're uh, homeschoolers are socialized. <laughs> We're used to getting out. And especially the community aspect of CC, um, they miss that. So I do think it's a ministry. I think they're learning. I mean, the learning is different with the Zoom, and I think it's great. I mean, we. I. Uh, I think I mentioned to you. I uh, a local butcher is going to give us the dissection kits, and I'm going to go and deliver them using social distancing. And yeah, we're going to try to. Um, dissect uh, using Zoom and everybody having their own kit. So that's going to be, it's going to be a fun thing to try. Actually, I found out that's, that's delayed a couple of weeks because the butcher um, doesn't have as much business as he usually does. And so um, we're going to, we're going to hold off until he has the supplies we need. So, um, but yeah, things like that. I mean, just interesting things on, um, so many things that we're talking about, um, you know, current event things that go along with, um, uh, that certainly go along with uh, what we're studying. Uh, it's just a lot of, you know, challenge one, uh, studying economics. Oh my, what a golden opportunity to um, talk to your parents about, uh, you know, economics. So we, uh, I don't, it's kind of something that directors know we have, uh, we, I get my kids notebooks at the beginning of the year and we call them their brains. And so they bring their, these notebooks, their brains to the meetings we have. And it's their responsibility to write what we write on a whiteboard um, on their brain and then uh, meet with their parent so that the parent can pick their brain during the week. So I told them that, again, this is a golden golden opportunity for them to be um, talking about uh, economics and cartography, the Challenge A kids. They're knowing some of these places they're talking about on the news. And um, so that's the kind of conversations we're having online. We're bringing in, uh, and, and you know, not just me, I'm asking, mostly asking the questions, but they have questions too. And they're, they're wanting to talk about it. They're wanting to process and um, I, I just think that it's a, it's a great tool to do that. I'm very thankful for it. It's so true, so true, Julie. You know, and, and I, the other dynamic that I thought was really neat, just how you have found that some of your students that maybe in, in the, the classroom, you know, in, in community day, maybe not be as engaged, but now what you have found with Zoom is that many of them are, are are more engaged so right um, it's, it's almost more personal or more you, you know you're going into their home a little bit i mean the first day um i kind of gave my students a little extra time and they were you know taking the phone or computer around and showing each other their rooms and um you know and how how neat that they get to do that right now you know a lot of us are I have, I have three students in, in my Challenge A class that they travel all the time, um, but they could, you know, and, and right now they're kind of stuck not doing that, you know, so it's very different for them. And, um, but they, how neat that they were able to kind of bring um, their classmates into their home and, um, you know, share, share things that we hadn't shared before. We, we uh, again, you know, because we have uh, guys that travel and come from long distances and things like that, we don't get to be in each other's homes. And, you know, that's, that's one thing the early church, um, you know, they have to be in each other's homes. And, and uh, I don't know, I, I think that that was a, one of the things with the kids, um, because it is more kind of personal, I've, I've gotten to know them better, you know, kind of um, just, uh, and being able to, um, even just having their name right there on the screen with them and, you know, I can, I can, each one of them are the same distance away. I don't know. It's easier for me to keep up with who's been uh, and, and draw each of them in the conversation equally. Love it. That's awesome, Julie. What has been an encouraging Bible passage that has really encouraged you through your homeschool journey? 
I think uh, probably I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's, it's through his strength. I, I know that I can't do this in my own strength. I am not, uh, you know, I tell everybody I'm domestically challenged and was probably would have been voted least likely to ever homeschool or probably even have, you know, six kids. You know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm it, it is through Christ and his strength. Awesome. That's a, that's a super powerful one. What, last question here, Julie, what is a fun family activity that you all enjoy doing together during these, these times? Well, uh, my guys are all very active. And so we have like, uh, we have ripstick, we have, um, a unicycle pogo stick, you know, and we have in our back porch, we have like five sliding glass doors. And we'll do like uh, eat, like um, darts on the glass doors, or you know, and put a target up there. And um, we do a lot. We write on those glass doors a lot with um, you know the dry erase markers and stuff. But no, like just doing uh, fun and uh, active, mostly active. My boys are all they they uh, work out together, and um, we live in the middle of the hills, so we're able to go and walk together. Nobody really is around here. And so, yeah, so mostly active things like that. And we're, you know, one of the neat things that's come out of this is, I, I told you my dad was living with us and he has Alzheimer's, but um, he really, um, he hasn't been to church in like a decade. And so he, we're doing church right around his recliner on Sunday mornings and worshiping and um, that's been a real blessing. Thank you so much, Julie, for your time and your wisdom and sharing so many gr great encouragement and practical uh, tips for everybody. Totally appreciate your time, Julie. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.